and welcome back to Xanthus Gaming. We are here in Path of Exile once again, and we are going to be... That was weird. I don't know why it took so long to load in. Uh, and we are going to be playing our Ranger, who is level 6 in Hardcore Solo Self-Found Flashback League. Uh, if you were following the vi previous video, you know we are a new player to the game. So any advice or tips or tricks you can give us in the comments down below would be greatly appreciated. Even if it's simple things like vendor recipes that you don't think I know about, uh, those would be appreciated as well. That's worse, right? Because that has the extra stats, more base damage, but I'm not sure. But it has three green links, and that seems good. So I don't know much about this game. I'm trying to learn, try and enjoy it as I go. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Love to know more about it, so uh, yeah, help us out if you. Oh my god, that guy looks cool. Oh. Alright. Uh, so, we are on the recipe to search the med mud flask for the entrance to the fetid pool. Then kill all the monsters in the fetid pool. Oh wait, we have a reward waiting for us back in town. We should probably grab that real quick. Talk to so and so for a reward. There he is. Now that you've drained it. All right, so we can get caustic arrow, siege ballista, puncture, or bear trap. Caustic arrow, fire an arrow which deals additional chaos damage to enemies it hits, and creates a caustic cloud. Enemies in the cloud take chaos damage over time. That sounds pretty cool. Siege Ballista summon a totem that attacks with piercing arrows. It attacks slowly but deals increased damage. Kind of a boss killer. Puncture punctures the target, causing a bleeding debuff, which will be affected by modifiers to skill duration. Puncture works with bows, daggers, claws, or swords. And bear trap. Traps do not trigger at the end of their duration. Trap lasts 8 seconds, deals 20 to 20 physical damage. Well, I don't know. Totem sounds pretty pretty good. We don't have anything like that in our kit so far, so might as well, well grab the might as well grab the totem. Throw it down and help us with the bosses. Um so I think we're supposed to go into a submerged passage and look for the flooded. I might have went to the wrong place here. Well, the plants is back out that way. We're just gonna play. Either way. We have Mirage when we uh, do our W. Or not our W, sorry, our middle click. Our right click is Piercing Ice Shot. Triple Piercing Ice Shot. That would have been a good time to throw down that Ballista Arrow thing, huh? I did put on a loot filter. I put on the Never Sink loot filter because someone had mentioned I should do that. So that is on now. I don't think I need either of those things. It's showing me like I really should look at them, so. Have that rustic sash. I think that can be upgraded with an orb of. Might be worth it. I don't know if I should even be bothering to capture things. You guys let me know what you think. I heard someone say don't bother with it. Someone said yeah it's worth it. Vendor recipes or something. Or recipes or crafting. I'm not sure. But tell me what you guys think. Are the nets worth the time or not worth the investment? I mean I get free nets at the Star Beach level. So like I guess if I'm not spending on them I think it's okay. Oof. Portal scroll, nice. We have some points we can put in. Projectile damage, projectile damage, ballistic mastery. I'm getting hit by something. That's rude. Uh, 20% increased projectile speed, 15% increased projectile damage, and 20 to dexterity. Cool. Now we gotta decide if we wanna branch off into this. Aspect of the Eagle, that seems pretty good. 
movement speed. 20% increased damage with ailments from attack skills while wielding a bow. That sounds pretty good. That sounded like combat music. It scared me. I mean, that seems like it's pretty good. Or coming down this way for Heart of the Oak, which is going to give us life. We don't have anything that's giving us life right now, so I feel like maybe coming down and getting this might not be a bad idea. We don't have any survivability right now. We're just pure damage. I think we've gotten, yeah, we've gotten some survivability if we went down this way. So maybe working my way down there would not be a bad idea and grabbing a couple of those. Or at the very least, getting the heart of the oak. I think that's probably what we're going to do next. That aspect of the eagle sounds pretty good too, though. Must have been for my ballista. The ballista seems fires really slow, so it seems like it's really only going to be useful for like elites and bosses and stuff. That said, now would not be a terrible time to have it, it feels like. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. Okay, let's line of sight that. Alright, his totems are a pain in the butt. Oops, goodbye world. I can't move. Oh my god, okay. Okay. I feel like the ballista saved my butt there. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the ballista saved my butt there. Yeah, definitely feeling that heart of oak. Definitely feeling that heart of oak. All right, so we got a coral ring. We got some, a lot of loot from that guy. Holy cow! A yellow bow. Look at that. Some gloves. So I'm guessing bigger means I should look at them. All right, so rustic sash, rustic sash. What I'm supposed to get? I had life on it. That seems like it's something I want to set. Level up our gems. Boots. That's a wand. That's not gonna work out for me. I need to have a bow, guys. A scare mask. That's funny. Um, I don't think any of that is really anything I need. Maybe this padded vest here. Grab the gnarled branch to sell this yellow, I guess. I don't know if that's actually a thing. But let's come around this way and get those alchemy shards and those binding shards. Cool. That was really scary. Not gonna lie. That's definitely one way to start an episode. The amber amulet. Strength. I mean, I don't use strength, but what if I'm, like, short strength for equipping something? Finding shards, alchemy shard. Oops. Found portal, that's nice. Okay. Digging my ballista. Did I not grab that? Thought I clicked it, my bad. Ballista definitely saved my butt against that elite. Nasty one. Super nasty. I didn't see if he was the type that could have been captured either. Darn it. I don't think he was though. I don't think that capturing him was an option. Achievement complete. Out of the gates. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to... Out of the gate. Uh, reach level 8 in any race event. Okay. I'm not really racing here, though. It's the thing. That guy can be captured, right? Oh, if I can... 
he's going to die before I can... Yeah, he died. My, my darn, uh... My darn ballista killed him. I was going to try to capture him, but I couldn't get him off that ledge. Won't you step off from that ledge, my friend? Like, no, I won't. Was that global chant? Global critical, global critical strike multiplier. Oh, that guy's got some weird letters in front of his name. That's a little scary. Way and have the turret kill him. I don't know if that was Chinese or Korean or runic or who knows what. Ooh, orb of transmutation. Change a normal item into a magical item. Yeah. Badass. The ledge. That's our next zone. Let's keep exploring this area. Just find anything really cool. Oops, that was a long exploration. So I read that, yeah, dash on your numpad zooms out your map. That's pretty cool. So we got this whole area over here we didn't explore. I know the most efficient thing would be just moving on to the next area, but I'm experiencing the game for the first time. I kind of want to map things out a little bit, you know, experience it, jump into it. Not really racing to get to max level. I don't know if I'll even make it to max level, because I might only play it for the next couple weeks until the Diablo season comes out. But I really am enjoying it, and I think if I, if I keep getting guidance from community members like I've been getting to help me learn and get better, I might, I might actually stick with the game. I like that people recognize that this game has a lot of depth and is overwhelming for new players, and they're willing to help out. I think that's pretty cool. So there's our optional quest, the Flooded Depths. Let's go on in there. Now, we just have to not die. Easy peasy. We're going to replace this inside of this. And do our best here. Get our Mirage helping us as well. Alright, I think we did it. That wasn't too hard. Wowza, look at all that stuff. I don't know what those coins actually are. They, it all disappeared, but I want it all. At least I want the currency. I'm starting to get a decent number of them built up, though. I'll be using them when I go back to town to identify some of this cool stuff, though. I really like that frost shot. The piercing triple frost shot. Feels pretty good. Actually, I think I took the pierce off of it. Did I take the pierce off of it? Yes. No, I still have the pierce on it. Okay. Whoa, what is that thing? It's a ghosty. slow me down. Cool. Got a large life blast. Okay, well, I think we're at that point where we have to go back now. Our inventory is very full. Alright, let's use our portal. Since there's probably not going to be one on the optional, optional level. Cool looking guy. Still standing at the waypoint. I dig it. Yes. Alright, so I'm curious about that bow. Might be an upgrade. 18% increased physical damage. 13% critical strike chance. Seems pretty good. The overall damage is lower at 6 to 15%. 
and it doesn't have the extra elemental damage on it. But it does say 10% increased elemental damage with attack skills. So I think that that is better. That looks better to me. So I'm going to use that. Be well. And I'm going to save this in my stash just in case you tell me I'm an idiot and I should have used this. So let me know, team. Was this an upgrade? Or was this an upgrade over this or not? All right. Uh, so we have two stashes. Um... 17% global physical damage upgrade, 13%, this one has energy shield and fire resistance. People were telling me to start getting resistances, so there's some resistance, that's good. Okay, I feel like maybe a maximum life one wouldn't be a bad idea. We got really close to dying there. Lightning damage on attacks, cool. Mana gain on each kill. I think that can replace this one. I have a slight upgrade on damage. Except we're losing dexterity, so not really. Uh, but we're gaining a lot of life. 30 life is pretty big for me right now. Don't think we have need for that strength amulet. Now that I'm looking at... Now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more. Let's see what this chest piece is for us. Intelligence and life. I think I would... Well, this... Has slightly less evasion rating, but a little bit of max life. And a little bit of intelligence. And intelligence gives us a little bit of energy shield and mana. I know we don't rely on energy shields with this character. But I feel like that's a very slight defensive upgrade. And it's the same sockets. So let's go ahead and use it. Items do for us. Oh wow. 33% increased evasion and energy shield. Plus 3 to energy shield. 6% increased rarity for items. Cold resistance and stun resistance. But it doesn't have a green slot. But that's okay because we got a green slot up there. So I feel like this is a good defensive upgrade for us. So we'll go ahead and use that. Now let's see what our Jade Amulet is. 23 dexterity. 1 to 2 physical damage to attacks, 4% increased energy shield, 8% increased rarity of items found, 10% fire resistance, 7% lightning resistance. Look at this. Look at us. We're doing the thing. We're getting lots of resistances. Go us. All right, and I think we just get rid of these. I got to identify my new flask. 20% chance to gain a flash charge when you deal a critical strike. 44% increase block and stun recovery. Nice. Plus it gives us more... Trade up more health. Um, I think I'm going to drop one of the mana class. We seem to be fairly fairly good, at, well off for mana now. Alright, so let's go ahead and just sell the okay. rest of that stuff. Yeah. Do I want to identify that ring? I did it before I even thought about it. Cold resistance and lightning resistance. Alright, so it's slightly less life, but it does give us two more. It gives us 21% uh, more resistances. 10 to cold, 11 to lightning. So, Goodbye. yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. People were telling me I need to start getting resistance. So, we are going to heed their warning, especially with how much that, uh, that red guy hurt us. Goodbye. And we'll go ahead and throw our stuff in our stash. Forgot to sell mm -hmm. this. Not bad. Take A little care. scrap. Alright. Scrap it. Now, I think we can get a quiver. So let's look and mm -hmm. see if we can buy one of those real quick. I don't see one there. Red supports ancestral call. Chance to bleed. Volley, Mirage, Onslaught. This one seems pretty good. 28% chance to grant Onslaught for 8 seconds when dealing a killing blow. And then Onslaught just makes us fire a lot faster. The poison 
The poison damage seems like it could actually be pretty solid. Maybe that would be better than the Mirage to throw onto our single target. Just a bit more, a bit more ticking damage on them. Not very much damage though. I don't know if that's really worth it. Take care. We'll keep the Mirage on there. He seems to be pretty solid. Still alive, are we? Right, looking for a quiver. Nice bow. Fields. Nice one-handed bows. They're white, which we could use or create, I suppose. Not seeing any quivers. I might be blind though. But I don't see any. So, I think we're good to continue moving on through. I don't see any chromatic links there either as I'm scrolling through. Someone said that sometimes they'll be selling chromatic items that you can just sell Very back well. to them for an orb. It's pretty funny. Alright, let's go ahead and get that increased movement speed and chance to avoid being stunned. And then hopefully soon we can get that heart of the oak and get a little bit more a little bit more survivability going on. I had that scary moment earlier. Still reeling from it. Mirage doing stuff and things. That's a dead end. Use your mini map. Just like Hots. Use the mini map. I was just one shot at him. Fantastic. Just ran into another dead end for no reason. Boss up here, it looks like. Oh, nice. I'm not going to put down anything that's going to kill him too much because I want to capture this guy just to see what happens. I can't. It's not letting me. V. There we go. Got him. I was hitting Z instead of V. My bad. So I still got his loot. I don't see why I shouldn't capture him. Wool shoes. Scroll wisdom. This guy's gonna talk to me. It will surprise you to learn that I am not popular. Aren't? The others here are ignorant. Yeah. They do not see the end coming. They are not <laughs> survivors like me. Or you. Sure, sure. Before we met, I kept beasts in the encampment. They got into the grain, then the meat. Yeah. <laughs> they were not as picky as I now. I imagine about why people didn't did like business. that. I learned that rowers do not digest rower meat very well. <laughs> he tried to feed them. Themselves. So I moved them to a new location. The menagerie. Far away. It is a secret place. This is where we will perform the ritual for the first ones. I have built a blood altar for such a purpose. Do you wish to see it? Tell Aina. You will be taken there. Okay. Well, why is this highlighted and big? Like, oh, that's probably good for, uh, for melee classes. I mean, I could grab it in case I decide to level one, right? Ooh, glad I grabbed that. All right, well, let's, let's go check out the menagerie, shall we? Menagerie. The arena just north. That is the blood altar. Yeah. It is where you So they're just north. We click it. No recipes unlocked. Capture some beasts to unlock recipes. Oh, okay. Well we don't have the ability to use it yet, it looks like. Then if we go into the menagerie itself. Probably just Oh, okay, that's some messed up uh 
Alright. Okay, so this is where we keep the animals. If we had any. Oh, there's some crabs. There's some giant crabs. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So that's the one crab I captured. He's so sad. So lonely. Cool. Interesting. So we can come visit our pets sometime. And taunt them. And then eat them. What you do with pets? Everybody knows that. Alright, let's go back. Oh, hello. This looks like a moment to throw up a ballista. Oh, okay, it was totally unneeded. But that guy was gonna be a lot scarier than he was. Coins, 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 coins. Hide this. Hello. You're pretty. Can we capture you? Okay, you, you also hurt an awful lot, and you should stop doing that. I'm not up to that just yet. Did I get ya? Did I get ya? Gotcha! Rusted hatchet. Alright. Iron circlet. Hola amulet. Pretty happy with the amulet I have, honestly. Double rank sh link short bow with a second. Greetings. All right. All right. Let's get those coins. Yeah. I guess start picking up stuff to sell. I feel like we have enough uh, scrolls now that we don't have to go back as much as we were doing. These people also said I was going back too much to town. So I'm trying to trying to listen to the advice as best I can. That guy is not catchable, it looks like. Oh, now he is catchable. Okay. So I just had to knock a shell off of him. My mana is gone. Oh, he broke out. He didn't like that one little bit. Wrong button. Oh, I don't have any nets left. I. Hey, guy. Come, I want to buy nets from you. Greetings. Ones I need, but. There. Capture. Got him. Easy. Create a leveling item, rare coral ring with maximum life. Okay. So we can make a unique, I guess. And create unique armor shield that requires intelligence. Okay, so we'll, we're, we'll go check that out, I think. Uh, seems like it'd be pretty good. I'm gonna grab yellow stuff. I think I want to sell yellow stuff, right? Is that a thing? Do I want to collect yellows to sell them? Or should I just leave them if I don't need them? You guys tell me. I can't wear a shield, right, if I have a bow? Oh, yeah, I tested that last time. I can't. Alright. Let's go to his... Let's go to his menagerie now and see if we can uh, get us a crafted item at the Flood Altar. I think it said I unlocked something. Yep, we got some. Rare Coral Ring with Maximum Life, the Deep Dweller. Or we can make a shield that has intelligence, body armor with intelligence, or a wand. We're going to want to do this one, I feel like. Alright, so what do I... So do I need to put something into it? Or to do it? Do I not have everything I need? Oh, I need to... Oh, okay, that's because I, I captured this guy called the Dweep, Deep Dweller. Now I have to get sh three shield crabs. Okay, so the Deep Dweller isn't the item. That's the monster that I captured. Okay, so then I just need to get three white crabs. And I can make a ring with maximum life, which I already have, but, okay, so that's how that works, that makes sense. So let's just crack, catch three shield crabs and uh, see if we can do that. Bought the nets, why not? I took a lot of our potions, that, or a lot of our scrolls, though.
Oh, hello, goat man. How are you doing? Oh, I can capture a goat man? Cool. Let's do it. You're mine now, goat man. Oh, you're not mine. You will be in a second. Duke me. Fine now, goat man. Great job, exile. I now will take the capture. Create an unidentified rare dagger. Oh, I don't need daggers, but that's cool anyway. Create an unidentified rare mace or scepter. Don't need that either. Come on, give me something like a bow. Claw. No bow. Oh, there's a quiver though. And another short bow. Small life flask. Don't grab that. Alright, well, we. Extra physical damage. Nice. Yes. Alright, cool. Excellent, excellent. Nice. And that'll make up a little bit more room for other things, too. Alright, so we still. We don't have any. Nats. Why that is. Kind of bums me out, actually. Finish exploring this cave and get this quest done. I cut for the next episode, but oh, this looks like it's gonna be exciting. He's red. Oops, I need to capture those guys, but I can't because I don't have any nets. Feels bad. Gotcha. Why they call me Dead Eye? Hey, there we go. Green gloves. And the green red link. Might end up needing that. Who knows? That would only slow me down. There's a I don't have any I don't have any nets, so I can't capture any shield crabs. It's a bit of a bummer. I don't think we really needed that ring anyway. Oh here we go. Heart of the oak. More life. Beautiful. We're at 188. Now we're at 203. Very cool. Avoid being stunned. Uh, stun recovery, block recovery, and life regen for a second. Yes, please. That was a dead end, yeah. Alright. The life regen per second is nice, because I notice you don't regen life just naturally. It's kind of strange. Very different. I like it, though. have finished the quest because we killed the Dweller of the Deep. I think we have actually explored this entire place. So now we just have to make our way back out to exit. Seems like a good time to use that Quicksilver Flask. Get out just a little bit quicker. Oh, it's been too long. We took too long in there. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was something to walk right out into. Boy, they. You know, can I sell to this guy? Oh wait, that's the lore master. That's not. That's not my net guy, is it? All right. We probably need to go back to sell because we're all full. I don't I particularly need. Even with the loot filter, I'm like, I'm not sure what I should and shouldn't be picking up. Dexterity necklace. Alright, see what And thus my prayers are answered. None too soon neither. Don't look so perplexed, exile. 
It's simple. God has sent you to help me look after the relics, the few remaining islands of faith in this sea of sin. The corrupted, they hunger to see faith gone for good, chewed up mm. and spat out by the night. Any moment now, this holy spot's going to be buried in filth. The corrupted will pour in here, bent on eclipsing anything and everything that has been touched by divinity. I hope you're good with the shovel, Exile. Oh, so basically, we're in a pure and mercy to the fall. We're in a defend phase thing. That would only slow me down. It would behoove us to get our uh, my mana is gone. Mana. Mana, need mana. As I say, it behoove us to get our, our mirage out just so we can defend a little bit easier. Alright, we did it. Alright. Red border. Why does it have a red border? All the plasts just have a red border to make them pop out more. I wonder that if you can. I wonder if you can collect multiple of those. That was some damn divine. In order to, uh, like, higher quality. I bet. I bet that that's a vendor recipe, right? Let's move and see if we can find the waypoint. To easily hearth. Don't have a net for this guy, unfortunately. Have to kill him. Still upset that my fancy nets don't work. Must be for later in the game. What's this icon on the minimap up here? It's now moving away from me, whatever it was. It's really moving away from me. It's, it's fleeing, it is fleeing from me and leading enemies in its way. Oh God, what did I do? Have I done? There's the, there's the waypoint. Did I get it? Did I do the thing? Where'd it go? Huh. Abyssal Trove. Oh, I did it. Oh, Jesus. All right. Pretty cool. That would only slow Our me down. intrepidness paid off. Drop this. Oh, wait, I just wasted that. Oh, man, that feels bad. We were right by the waypoint. Oh, well. Too late now. Not much you can do. Let's identify some stuff. See what this bow's like. Two elemental damages on it. I like that. Some lightning resistance and some mana gained on kill. So, I I think that we're going to do more damage with that bow, even though we're losing the critical strike, right? Damage per second, 60.74, 73.33. Yeah, it's a big upgrade. I guess I should, could compare it to the one we had before. So the one we had before was actually better than the one we've been using. Whoops. I don't know if there's any point in saving these bows or if I should just vendor them. You guys will have to let me know. Yeah, that's not nearly as good. So double element, that's nice. And a little bit of lightning resistance to boot. Very cool. Looks like we got some nice gloves there. Accuracy and invasion. But we'd be losing all of this. And I don't feel like losing all of that's worth it. Even though it's three length. I feel like the defense we're getting is better. I want to keep that because I want to upgrade it with an orb. Dexterity, amulet. 
Elemental damage increase max skills, I think. I feel like this is better. I don't know, maybe percent elemental is better. You guys tell me. I guess we could look at the stat sheet, right? On the stat sheet, the other one looks better, but I know in Diablo, stat sheets don't always mean everything. In fact, stat sheets very, mm -hmm. mean very little in Diablo, but I don't know if that translates over into this game. I'm gonna start saving okay. the mana flasks on the off chance that there's a vendor recipe for it. Now, we can upgrade that to a blue to a magic item. Is there one that upgrades it to a yellow item? I feel like there is. I might just not have it. Yeah, so we can use that orb of augmentation and upgrade it to a yellow or to a blue. Oh, whoops, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, maybe I don't have one of the ones that upgrades uh, white into a blue just yet. I'll just hold on to it for later. All right. So I think that's where we're gonna end this episode. We completed the sub quest. We leveled up three or four levels, got a little bit further on. Uh, there'll be more episodes coming out this week. I'm recording multiple episodes tonight. So uh, the comments that you leave on episode two, I will not see until I go to record like episode four or five probably. Because I think I'm gonna film episodes two, three, and maybe four tonight. So please leave comments. I will read every one of them. I will respond to most of them. Please leave comments. Let me know what I need to do differently, all that good stuff. But please know that I will not see your comments for episode two until episode like four or five. So anyway, thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to go ahead and say see you later, YouTube.